Welcome back once again! If this place seems too dark, no, you're not mistaken, our stadium hasn't even been set up yet! But in just a short while, everything's gonna explode into place as our resident battler and my most prolific client tries to determine once and for all just how fast it's possible to race through eight opponents, this time on the Pika Cup. As an added bonus, he'll actually be joining me here in the press box for the journey. Of course, both characters are played by the same actor, but don't tell anyone. You know, kayfabe. Anyway, I just called into Domino's about 14 minutes ago for a pizza, so... You got 16 minutes! Let's put that time on the clock! Hope you can do it! Oh, there's no need to be in such a hurry. The timer doesn't even start until you confirm your team. Yes, and what I'm going to do I'm testing out my new remote. I need to be as fast as possible. I'm going to do it. You'll attempt to get this done before you say your pizza on the lights. Very well then, oh, time has started now! 16 minutes and counting! Oh, that's... That's rather fast time to confirm your team! Like I said, it's this remote. This remote that allows me to be controlling these Pokemon even while I'm staying here in this press box. Otherwise, that wouldn't be possible. Looks like it says the team was confirmed in just 22 frames. That's less than three quarters of a second? Of course, it doesn't matter because you have to wait for your opponent to confirm their team. Like I said, it's still all about speed. And there we saw Nidorina go right down on the first hit. Here comes Venomoth. Then a Nat. Thunderbolt. First minute elapses. Did a few psychic there, not sure what reason for choosing Thunderbolt was. Because of speed once again. Sonami takes less time to initiate a Thunderbolt than the have to concentrate on the let off a psychic. And why did you even use psychic against Nidorina? Very well said, and here comes Ekans. That should be weaker than Venonat, so, yep, another Thunderbolt! Just a minute and a half. All three attacks have been launched from the first battle, and, yep, that's good enough! Three for three, three attacks! Moving right along! Any inside about Battle 2 before we get there? What's wrong with Pidgeotto? It comes out, I cannot attack. That's one attack animation we have to wait for. I want to avoid those if at all possible. And 17 frames on the team selection this time. That's a... Better than point six. And that's not Pidgeotto, that's Farfetch. So, so far, so good. As we see, Thunderbolt to be the fastest the attacks. You know, this team is stuck at four level 10. Stani, Alakazam, Tolos, Jolteon. All of them are quite fast, and they can at least look somewhat hard. And the way I have this planned out, each one of these will be participating in exactly two battles, so this will be Stani's last appearance. You heard it there. Don't expect to see more of Starmie. But the way we were playing, we were trying to emulate the old, at least emulate the style of battle. Just having a stunning level 20, and the bolt might be inside the absurd. That should be good enough to get you through this every time. Maybe not this fast. And there we saw Ivysaur go down, now Zubat, so you're right, Pidgeotto doesn't come out, so that saves you some time. Under four minutes. Remember, 16 minutes. Eight battles. That's a two-minute pace for battle. So far, you're well ahead of that clip. This 
Should be possible, but it looks like it might require absolute perfection. 24 for 24. No Pokemon ever left standing for more than one turn. There's the Jolteon this time. Another thing, he put, he said that about Pidgeotto last battle. Quick attack means you have to sit through the attack animation. I guess if the opponent goes first, they're faster than you, you have to sit through one too. That's why I have all fast looking. So it's simple. I go first against everything, they never get a chance to attack, I never have to wait for them. Furthermore, the fast Pokemon get more critical hits, making it so much easier. Ooh, hey. Nice insight there, choosing fast for the extra critical chance. Jolteon doesn't seem to be very flexible, but the far it doesn't need to be. Sudden Battle 1 Nidorina. Starmie can't take it down with a Thunderbolt. Jolteon can. It's actually higher special than Starmie. And of course gets that 50% boost, so not a problem there. Torker. Sounds like a civil law violation. You know it's a civil law violation? Being so weak against my team. Blazing speed right now. Nine for nine. Level 20, that's the most you can have on the team here. Gotta leave at least two spots open for 15 if you want to use a 20. Oop. Looks like 15s aren't gonna get much relevance here, so just run over them to us with a double edge. I think it does have Earthquake, but just runs over it, and that's quite a load of bull. Um, aren't you leaving off the load at the end of that? No, I mean it's a load of bull. Just take a look at that bull charging toward the dog and taking it out in one. And bull picks that looks to be even weaker than the Growlithe. Down, you've already got 11 of the 24 opponents. Nine minutes left, only seven minutes down. And this time you will use Earthquake. Yep. Can't argue with that. And halfway through, haven't allowed an attack from any opponent. Remember, you did that in the Petit Cup too, when my first. It was just the makeshift villain for Ted Lewis. Come. Long way to do that again right here. 12 for 12, 12 turns, no enemy attacks. Over 15 seconds ahead of pace. Each turn seems to be taking about 30 seconds. That means... By the end of this, you could possibly even... Have them survive one hit and attack back and you'd still be able to make the 16 minutes. Oh, no, put a to this guy, that a Taurus again in Battle 5 against Magnemite. Of course, Magnemite not Electric Steel type yet in this version. Though it doesn't take as much damage from Earthquake and it isn't resistant to Double Edge. It's not Electric Fire type either for both of you in that story. And indeed a Double Edge is enough to take it down right here. It's King <laughs> What? King of could survive a double edge. Oh, there goes the no truth. Ooh, it's thunder! Does it hit? Yes! <laughs> Having to rely on thunder. No, you're not normally one to take chances, but 
Do you're going for speed, you've gotta go all out. Thunder's what you gotta do to pick up the Kingler, that's what you gotta do. And Porygon. No, that's another double edge too. And it doesn't even take as much damage from Thunder or Hulkling. Luckily, I have this. Hyper Beam, nice! Of course, Hyper Beam still in the stadium. We enforce the rule that even if you miss or take the opponent down in one, you still have to lose a turn, but that's the last opponent. Can't make you lose a turn if the battle's over, so very nicely done. Pokemon for the last battle come in. 
So their entrances, it'll be Alex who's going to make its final appearance. Goldish. That reminds me of two things. Goldfish without an F, which it isn't. Or Goldish as if to represent that it's color it's not. Alakazam, you could say, is Goldish. Gold Duck, not so much. But Thunder Punch, you could say, is Goldish, too. And this duck is... gone away, as my partner says. Plenty of time, and here comes Dragonair. Okay, it would be most highly motivated Pokemon who will place in this cup. Maybe in round two it's not happen, but here it's just easy to play, no, hit it with power. And Alakazam Dice Punch quite the power. Only one Pokemon remains. Will we see 24 for 24, 24 turns? Slow bro! Can you take that down with a Thunder Punch? Still over a minute left! Put my controller down. Put the remote down. There it is! More than a minute left! Now it ticks down to a minute. The controller's down! Time to power on to... End of control. 15 minutes, 16.31. We still gotta wait. See what the official time is when the Earth Badge is awarded. That's when time officially stops. We have seen the perfect eight sweeps. And there it is! Official time, 15 minutes, 24.2 seconds! That's quite the blistering pace. You've just completed eight battles in under 15 and a half minutes. What are you gonna do now? Definitely not good at Disney World. I just say that much. And I know what that sound is. That sound is... It's pizza time! On behalf of the makes... On behalf of our resident... What do you mean on behalf of... I don't need anyone acting on my behalf. I can do that on my own. Anyway... Okay, well anyway, that's... The, that's a resident battle where I'm the make shift announcer and we're about to... Call this off. See you next time.